When the Man of Steel wanted to take a break from the hustle and bustle of Metropolis, he flew to his Fortress of Solitude. Hidden in the Arctic a magnificent crystal castle built using alien technology. Would you like to see Superman's crystal? Blue hideout in person? These are real wonders of nature that naturally appear inside vast glaciers. They mainly impress with the amazing play of shades of blue and white, as well as bizarre ice formations. Nothing compares to staying inside the Blue Ice Cave, when you enjoy the architecture of nature at its best, the photos are amazing, but they can't convey the feeling of being there. The most amazing glacial cave Skafta Fell, Ice Cave, Blue Ice Cave and others are located in the southeastern part of the huge glacier Vatnajökull. Please like this video and subscribe to this new channel and you will see many more interesting and useful things. The Vatnajökull Glacier is the largest glacier in Europe and the third worldwide after the glaciers of Antarctica and Greenland. The glacier area is 8% of the island's total territory. The thickness of the ice is from 400 meters to 1 kilometer. The Vatnajökull Glacier looks like the Kingdom of the Snow Queen because it is incredibly beautiful. In terms of volume, it is the largest in Europe and one of the largest on Earth. If you look at the map of Iceland, you can see a large white spot in its southern part. This is the famous Vatnajökull. The surface of the glacier is covered with intricate patterns created by cracks. The black color on the glacier is not mud at all, but frozen volcanic ash. Because there are volcanoes in these parts, and craters can be seen in the natural park, the Vatnajökull looks like a giant white shell. The Skaftafet National Park is located at its foot. There are many volcanoes hidden under the glacier itself, for example, Tordarkitna and Grimsvitnum. The Vatnajökull Glacier is located on the territory of the large Vatnajökull National Park, which covers the former national parks of Skaftafell in the southwest and Jökull Sarglifer in the north. The highest point of the Vatnajökull Glacier is Kvannadalsnirk, which lies at the top of the Stratovolcano. Seven separate volcanoes are hidden under the glacier, flying over one of the Bordarbunga volcanoes. During its eruption you can see a unique combination of fiery emissions and snow-covered glaciers. That's why Iceland is called the land of fire and ice. Since Vatnajökull is the largest glacier in Europe, it is one of the best places to see this natural wonder, the ice caves. Ice caves form only in winter, when glacial rivers disappear and the water freezes. Their location, shapes and sizes are constantly changing, making them a distinctive and unique sight. The glacier is in constant motion, which causes the ice sheet to crack. Through the cracks formed, the meltwater enters the deepest part of the glacier. Rivers form under the base of the glacier, making their way to the surface, changing and forming a cave maze. The ice caves have large halls, galleries, wells and beautiful transparent columns. Often the floor of caves is covered with a layer of ice. The length of such caves can be several hundred meters, and the depth can be up to 100 meters or more. Iceland has many glaciers, which give the country many interesting landscape features, majestic ice cliffs deep crevices, glacial lagoons and, of course, spectacular ice caves. Natural glacial caves are the most popular of the ice caves. They are famous for their deep blue color, which is very beautiful. Iceland is 11% covered by glaciers, and the climate here is ideal for the formation of ice caves. They usually form as tunnels under the influence of meltwater in spring and summer. Ice crystals reflect blue light when air is squeezed out of the snow layers. Sunlight, scattering over the surface of the Svinafelskal glacier, paints amazing pictures on the arches of the ice cave, creating the illusion of presence in the depths of the sea. The depth of the underground passage does not exceed 50 meters, and the width of the cave is only 10 meters. During the winter months, there is a crackling sound inside caused by the movement of the glacier. Such pure azure and blue shades are the result of the absence of air bubbles in the ice. You can see colored ice under certain weather conditions. One of them is the absence or minimum amount of snow on the surface. This tightly compressed ice glows blue due to the absence of air bubbles, which usually disperse the colors of the spectrum when sunlight falls from above. And the black spots are layers of volcanic ash stuck in the glacier during previous eruptions, and the black path of volcanic ash underfoot was not dragged by tourists on shoes, and it was not specially poured so that it would not be slippery. As you might think all this ash was poured from above when pulling out the cave, how did the ice caves appear here? Everything is simple. They are formed by rivers and springs flowing under the ice. The water that comes out in some places makes niches and through holes and carefully polishes the surface. By the way, the ceiling in such caves is almost transparent, glacial. Ice often has this unique soft and transparent blue color that reflects off the walls of ice caves and icebergs. 
The reason lies in the ingredients. It consists of compressed layers of ice crystal snow, rather than frozen water, like ice on lakes, which has no crystalline structure. Then, when enough air is squeezed out of the dense snow by the weight of the additional layers, it becomes transparent and reflects blue light. The color saturation of the ice depends on its thickness and the number of air bubbles in the ice. The thicker the ice, the fewer bubbles there are, and the darker the ice. The ice caves are constantly changing, so each visit will be unique. They are affected by melting ice, wind, and temperature. These processes create new ice formations and change existing ones. Caves in the glacier are formed every year during periods of melting and freezing of glaciers. Therefore, each cave in each particular year is absolutely unique like a fingerprint. You can explore Iceland's volcanic history in glacial caves. You don't even need to drill ice cores to do this. In summer, rains wash away snow from the glacier's surface and sunlight, breaking through a large thickness of ice, illuminates the underground maze in an unusual blue color. But due to the warm weather, the ice becomes brittle and cave-ins often occur. Therefore, they are closed to the public in the summer. There are thermal springs in the ice caves, which are popular with lovers of recreational bathing. Hot water is pouring straight out of the ice. It is believed that it contains a lot of useful minerals and, of course, it is crystal clear in these parts because the ecology on what Nacle is ideal.